they they had a huge industrial complex. They were actually much richer in the 50s and 60s and industrialized much more rapidly than the South Koreans oh, wow. did. South Koreans caught up and they fell behind. And by 1992, the North Korean economy was in precipitous decline. So was agricultural production. And when the Russians and Chinese cut off all their shipments of oil at subsidized rates, then the economy collapsed. And that's when the famine took place. Wow. So they have now recovering from it. They are actually growing a little bit. They're not, I mean, this guy has begun. He's increased repression. He's executing more senior officials. Life is miserable if you cause any trouble at all. But in terms of economic growth, they're growing in a way they haven't grown in, in under his father at all. And so what's happening now is they're beginning to reindustrialize and they're they're producing their own goods, not for export, but for their own purposes. They they don't want to rely on the Chinese and Russians to import stuff from across the border. Uh, the the way they're making money, frankly, is they're uh, they're they're uh, mining iron and mostly coal, billions of dollars worth of it. And they're sending it to China, and then China uh, pays them for that, and that's what they're using to run the government. It's Andrew Natsios, N-A-T-S-I-O-S. Make sure you go and get his book, The Great North Korean Famine. Uh, I know that either his father or his grandfather, and I think it was his father, what he wanted was bilateral talks with the United States of America. Does this guy even want that anymore, or it's something different now? Well, we don't want to have bilateral talks because the North Koreans won't recognize the existence of South Korea. They say it's a puppet of the United States. Okay. we insist that the uh, Japanese, the Russians, the Chinese, and the South Koreans uh, are involved in these talks, or we won't go, particularly the South Koreans. We, the South Koreans have to be in the room, or we will not negotiate, and I completely agree with that perspective. The North Koreans want one-on-one negotiations, and the, right now they won't even negotiate at all. This guy doesn't want to even talk. His father talked and played us. Yeah. The son doesn't even want to talk. How does this play out? Last question, uh, and I think I asked you this last time too. Obviously, the rhetoric is is you know building up on both sides. I kind of like what what the current president is doing compared to previous presidents that kowtowed to North Korea, and North Korea never stuck by any treaty or any agreement. So uh, I kind of like what this president's doing. But I'm not as smart as you are on this. Is this president doing the right thing? And what's the end game? We're not going to go to nuclear war with this guy. Well, it's not a question of nuclear war. The Chinese signed a non-aggression, a, a, a mutual defense agreement in 1956. If South Korea attacks North Korea or the United States attacks North Korea, they will come to their defense. Uh, but what if North Korea it, attacks us or attacks South Korea? China well, still on their, it still has their back? Yeah, they do until August of this year. The Chinese wow. announced in August publicly that if the North Koreans attack first, first, we, they will not defend them. Wow. They've made it very clear that if there is a first strike by the North Koreans at, at starting a war, because uh, uh, the uh, Chinese are clearly worried about 22 million North Koreans, 25 million North Koreans crossing the border. They would flood China. in. They would all immigrate first there to get, out of the, to get out of the way. Absolutely. And the other thing the Chinese are afraid of is they don't want the American army and the South Korean army, one of the best armies in Asia, on the border with with the China at the Yalu, and if the North Korean regime collapsed, they don't want a reunification of North and South Korea with us at their border. They are very very paranoid about that. Newsmax TV. Watch us on Dish, Direct TV, AT and T UVerse, Verizon FiOS, and or download our free app. Don't have Newsmax TV? Call your local cable provider and request Newsmax today.